This is your boy Rico Rivers, Rico the Opinionist. Check out my page, Rico the Opinionist. Uh, that's my, it's like my public page, Rico the Opinionist. And um, here's my Grambling shirt, Grambling State University. Hope y'all like the t-shirt, pretty cool. This is my Grambling hat. And uh, let me take it off. I uh, want to show my Grambling spirit and wish everybody the best time this weekend at the uh, at homecoming weekend 2017 on the campus of Grambling State University this weekend. But uh, my initial reasoning for uh, making this video is just give a few thoughts on the recent shooting and the recent murder, yeah, murders that occurred, a murder that occurred on the campus of uh, my beloved Grambling State University. And uh, this video is out, it goes out to my fellow Grambling alumni and alumni and alumnus, everybody who's ever attended Grambling State University, those who will be attending Grambling State University either next spring or, or fall 2018 and beyond. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, just, and those who are lovers and friends of Grambling State University. Grambling State University where everybody is somebody. Awesome school. Uh, I'm a product of it. Yeah, I said that, but I just like saying it. I went to Grambling State University. And I went at a time where, where, you know, we were young and having a blast and a lot of stuff was going on. And it's just the ultimate HBCU experience. And I wanted to express my uh, condolences to the families of the young men or the students who were shot and killed. And uh, <clears throat> also just uh, to the students who are there who, who are probably going through all kinds of traumatic spirit, uh, uh, feelings and, uh, and emotions right now. But I want to say this. Uh, um, what happened is not an HBCU thing. What happened is not a Grambling State University thing. It is something that occurs when people are not prepared to handle uh, disagreements. It is something that happened uh, that uh, they are not equipped to... Um, can I say this? They're not emotionally or mentally equipped to settle differences that, you know, that are not really that difficult to settle. But we have when you allow emotions. And, and I also want to say that, you know, I'm kind of upset about it. I'm very upset about it because, you know, when I was a student and when people were students way before I arrived at Grambling State University in January, January 3rd, 1989, at the uh, Gray's Greyhound bus station with my luggage. And I was there from up to 94 and then two more years, nine, up to 96 for graduate school. There had never been a murder. There had been fights, you know, because 18 to 23-year-olds fight. They get into it. But one thing about it, uh, they lived the next day to talk about it or laugh about it in the dorms or laugh about it off campus or at the next barbecue that was thrown by whatever organization on campus, we lived through it. And I am, I am pissed off that all these years that I can remember, you know, over 20 years, we've never had a murder on our campus. And I don't want this to be a trend. Guess what, y'all? There's also been gunshots fired at Grambling State University on the campus. Yeah, because I remember, you know, as a, as a sophomore, uh, a freshman and sophomore ducking on Fridays coming out of T.H. Harris Auditorium when someone would just start shooting, bam, I'd hit the dirt. Uh, they were shooting. Just, I don't know why, what they were angry about, but you hear, pow, pow, and people hit the dirt, screamed, and went all over the place and all of that, but nobody was murdered. I remember some, some gunshots took off in, uh, in front of Pinchback Hall when I was a freshman. I, I lived in Pinchback, and nobody was murdered. A gun play shouldn't even be allowed on a college campus. Uh, so I, I wanted to say that to let the young people who are now attending Grambling State University that, that that kind of bad behavior is nothing original with them. It, we 
Young people have always act a fool, but no one was murdered. And um, I don't want Grambling to be a place like that. And what I think should happen to make sure Grambling State University, the vision of Booker T. Washington, he told Charles P. Adams to go down there to create the, the Louisiana Negro Normal Agricultural School for blacks there to learn agricultural trades and so forth in uh, 1901. We don't want that. That's not grambling. It is a place where everybody is somebody, not a place where people get murdered. And I don't like that one damn bit. And I, and I want everyone around the campus and the administration to be just as pissed off as I am, to really be aggressive into making sure that this never happens again. I want to give some suggestions. As I speak, it would be great if all of the so-called leaders at the university, from administration down, participate in this activity. Meaning, if you have to make t-shirts to say, we are grambling, we don't murder, or violence and murder are not allowed on my campus, and to disseminate this, create flyers, you put them in the students' hands to say, hey, this is not allowed, this is not tolerated. When we see conflict going on on the campus, students need to be proactive and say, uh, -uh no, no, this is not how we handle this at Grambling. The counseling department needs to be out in full force with workshops and, 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 and all types of bulletins, flyers, or going to each department, each dorm, telling the students, we are here for you. They need to have workshops on conflict resolution, be proactive, so this won't happen again. The, the student leadership, student government association, Miss Grambling, freshman class president, sophomore class president, junior class president, senior class president, all of the calendar girls, y'all need to have y'all ass on campus passing out something or creating workshops to tell your fellow students this is not happening on Grambling's campus. Dean of Students, Vice President, Provost, President, get out there and spend money on a campaign that lets everybody know at Grambling, all the students, we're here because we love each other and we love Grambling State University. We're not here to murder. We're not here to act a fool. College is the place where you go to become enlightened and educated and, and get particular skills that will help you when you graduate, help you navigate your way around this thing we call the bigger world, the real world, and society. It's not for going there to bring thug-like behavior and emotional instability to the campus. Because for me, Grambling was a place away from that kind of behavior, that kind of thug-like and that, that, that kind of hood-like behavior. Grambling was my refuge, and Grambling State University should be a refuge for those who decide to come. To all the black fraternities and sororities on campus, Groove Phi Groove, Phi Mu Alpha, United African American Men, my fellow organization, Prince Hall Masons, Scottish Rite Masons, Modern Freemasons, all of the Eastern Stars, everybody who is claiming to have a leadership position on that campus, student body administration, you need to be hitting the campus all weekend long, beginning now with flyers and t-shirts, and, and we're coming together and say, we're not having this. We can't. And I don't give a damn what anyone thinks about HBCUs. We need to understand how we think about it, and we need to treasure our HBCUs. We need to treasure Grambling State University, and we're not going to have that. We can't. There's no room for that behavior. And the way you stop that is the things I just said become proactive and let each other know we're not having that kind of behavior. Violence and murder are not an option at my goddamn school because we love each other here. We are grambling. Why not grambling? I am grambling and we don't tolerate that kind of violence and murder. We can work things out because we're in an institution of higher learning, and that's the way we're supposed to behave. I know we're 18 to 23 years old. Yeah, young people, you know, they get kind of crunk. But it's okay to get crunk. 
The goal is for you to live the next morning, the next day until graduation because your parents don't send you to school. Nobody's parents send them to college to come home in a body bag. So I just want to share that. Let's all wrap our arms around Grambling and we need to do those things I said. Get out there. If it be flyers, uh, 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 programs, if it's just forums, let's have a conversation about it and how much we need to learn. In closing, I want to say this, what helped us a lot. They need to reinstitute Lyceum and Convocation. Those things helped out people like me who came from the inner city. They helped me to understand who I am and my importance as a, as a young black student at that historically black university. That's and also convocation when you invited all those wonderful speakers who looked like me, who had who were from all walks of life in various scholarship and professions that, that motivated us to say we are, we are at a place where everybody is somebody. And somehow I think that's been lost, but we need to regain that and we need to do it with a vengeance. So I'm going to close right here. This video is too long. I just want to share that Grambling State University, Grambling alumni, and the current students there, I love you. You know, that's why I wore my stuff tonight. And I'm going to keep wearing my stuff all weekend. Uh, but anyway, I just want to share that. This is Rico, the opinion. This is Rico Rivers, class of 94, 96. And uh, be cool, Grambling. Love you all. Peace.